This video is going to show you how to find or browse for personal math trainer assignments and assign those. Once you're logged in to your Think Central, we're going to go ahead and start with how to find resources for specific lessons. So I'm going to click on Browse, go to Grade 4. I like to go by Program Structure. Um, what that allows me to do is, as you can see, I can click on a specific unit and then a specific chapter. And then once I'm in a specific chapter, I can choose a specific lesson. So you can zoom down to the lesson um, level, and here you'll see you have a couple different options, core instruction and lesson level resources. So by clicking on core instruction, you can see that I see the teacher edition, the student edition pieces, there's an assessment link to a personal math trainer. Okay, Any of these that you click on, you will be able to see what those look like. Okay, Lesson level resources, here you'll see some additional options. Now keep in mind, any of these that say assign are assignable assignments. Those links will show up in the to-do list of your student's account but it won't be collecting any data for you. So sometimes you assign something so that it's assigned to them, they can see it right in their to-do list and be reminded to engage in that. Um, makes it also easier access for them. Here you'll also see a share and show PMT or personal math trainer. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and scroll back up to my core instruction. And let's go ahead, and even though this says homework, keep in mind you could use this as an assignment for their daily practice or their daily work. So if you click on that assignment, you will be able to see what those questions look like, okay, what this assignment looks like. I'm going to go ahead and click on Assign. I am not going to modify this assignment right now, but I could delete questions if I wanted um, to keep this video rather simple. I'm just going to keep it as it is and click on Add. In the assignment name, I'm going to put the name of the assignment. And then I can put some specific instructions here. Please remember to use your strategies. Bring paper and pencil to your station. Select a class. And then here I could select specific students and add them into this assignment. Or, or if I click on Add All, it uses all of the students within my class. This is where you'll choose the available start and stop date. Make sure that you give time for the students to do it because once it's expired, once that due date comes, they won't be able to get back into it. The other activity settings and workflow we're not going to address in this video. So I've chosen my students, the assignment. I'm going to click on Save. And here you can see this assignment is now added into my assignment list. Okay? And I can always go to Assignment, Manage My List. Here you can see you can edit, you can delete, you can copy. Um, so let's go ahead and see what this will look like when a student logs in. So when a student clicks on things to do, here you will see um, the name of assignment was the one that I just created. So when they click on that, here they will complete each question and then turn it in. Now what's really nice is they can view examples and step by step and get textbook help as they're working through it. Um, so hopefully that 
will be helpful to you.